this video is going to show you some of the great new features with the grade detail tray. So first of all, how do you access the grade detail tray? What you would do is go to any of these grade entry boxes for any assignment or for any student. Um, I'm assuming that you would go to one for either an assignment you'd like to work on or a student that you'd like to enter grades for. But ultimately, you can click on any of them. Once you click on them, you then get this little icon. This icon is what will take you to that tray. For this particular one, it's going to take me to the tray for this student and this assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And you can see the tray pops out here. So this is when we refer to the grade detail tray. This is the tray. So you can see I've got the student. I've got that assignment. I can now enter in a grade. I can set the status. So since I'm manually doing this, what if I want to go ahead and say that this student uh, is missing this assignment? I can go ahead and do that. Or I could say the student was late. Um, and I can say how many days late, which is pretty nifty, right? Or you can say that the student is excused. Or if it's none, the student just did the assignment like normal and enter in the assignment. You can also enter in comments, great work and you could click Submit. So if you click Submit, um, here it is. You can see it's automatically entered in. Now the beautiful thing, what if a student had turned in a bunch of work and you're trying to go through and enter in the grades for all of that work? Well, instead of going out and back in, you can just click right here and go to the very next assignment in your gradebook. So here I can say, okay, this time it was 20 points and it was late and it was three days late. And good job, uh, but missed points for being late. And then click the submit button. Likewise, what if instead of just wanting to go through that student, you had everything you wanted to do for this assignment? Well, then instead of changing the assignment, which here you can see you can change the assignment back and forth, instead what you can do is change the student name. So here I've entered this assignment grade for this student. Well, I can click right here and go to the very next student. And great job. You know, I could enter in my comments, my feedback, and I could just work my way through. So in this case, it's kind of like speed grader, but it's from the grade book. And uh, you don't have all of the functionality of speed grader. So you don't have your rubric. Uh, you don't have the ability to do the inline annotation. But if you're just doing um, some quick entering of grades or something like that, or maybe you're providing some uh, feedback on a quiz, you could, I mean, some, I guess I would still want to see the speed grader, but ultimately uh, you can just kind of click through here and use this tray to provide that feedback. Or maybe you just want to double check and see, now what did I say to those students? Or, you know, I want to try to remember what feedback did I give that student on some of these assignments? Well, instead of going to speed grader, where you could only look at it for one assignment for that student, you could open up here and just kind of click through all of that student's assignments and see any comments or feedback you left to that, assi that, left to that student. So I think these are all uh, really great features that make this tray, I think, one of the more cool aspects of the new gradebook. It's also nice that if you would like to get to speed grader uh, for the student, so maybe you're like, you know, I need to go to the rubric or I need to do some inline annotation for something, you can always click here and go to speed grader. Or if you'd like to see all of the grades for that student uh, in an easy to format, kind of in the exact same way the student's going to see their grades, you can just click on the student's name. Otherwise, you click that X and you're gone, you're out of it. But you can see uh, once again, to access that tray, just click on any box and click that icon and it will open up that tray. And then you can just click through any students and you can click through any assignments. So I hope this kind of brief overview of the uh, grade detail tray helps and uh, encourages you to enjoy it and make uh, your life using Canvas even easier.